So hi everybody. I'm just a stay-at-home grandma. And I'm doing my DIY. I'm relocking my hair. It actually some of it is locked because I've been washing it and conditioning it, but I haven't been combing it. So some of it, as you can see, but this is the softer part. So we're gonna do my hair. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing fine and staying well. And let's go. So I'm gonna take this part right here. And I don't, I can comb it, but it does bother me at times, so. But I have um, aloe vera gel and aloe vera. Make some more gel. Put this on my hair. And then I'm going to twist it. Making sure that I don't get any more hair in there than I have to. And twist it around like this. Now, it'll have to be done several times for it to just lock, but for the most part, you know, I'm doing this my best to do it because I I really don't want anybody fooling in my hair. I really don't feel the need for that. So let's do this one. I'll probably need so this one is kind of locked already. So I'm gonna twist it. I need some um they're in the other room, and I'm not going to go get them, but I'll clip it later. Put the clips in it later. So see how, now this is fine. There's another one. It's pretty pre-washed, in other words. Let me, let me get that fine. So how's everybody doing? we still fighting COVID, I see, a little bit. Got your shot, because I did. But, um, you know, I've not got it. Neither does my husband. He has his shots, too. But um, some people are really anti-whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just take the shot. Because, like I said, I was little kid in the time of polio and mumps and chicken pox. I had mumps. I had measles and I had chicken pox. And it was not pretty. I mean, and I wasn't really sick, but other kids, you know, my girlfriend had polio and um, it was awful seeing her struggle and everything. I mean, she overcame obstacles, you know, but when they gave us the, the, and the thing is, as far as I know, because I was a kid, they didn't give us any initiatives and stuff like that. They were um, giving people shots right in the school. When my mother said no, they asked my mother, did they want the school to do it? So I said, no, my mother was a nurse. So my mother just said, I'll take her to her doctor. And then I'll bring the papers to show you that it's done. But I mean, this whole argument with, I don't know. You know, it's like a conspiracy theory, and I got it in some ways if you think that, but by the same, you know, think about other people because, you know what I mean? You don't know what you might be bringing. You know, you have to think about other people as well, but, you know, we live in a a society where people don't think about other people at all. My my theory has always been, if you don't like me, you don't even have to tell me. You know, you can speak or you don't have to speak. I don't really care. You know, but don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect my home. Don't stick, disrespect my children and we'll be fine. You stay on your side of the world and I'll stay on mine. And I've never actually encountered Anything because of that, because I've just been upfront. Don't like me? Fine. 
everybody's not going to like me and that's anybody but um you know i mean it's it's i don't know going downhill so anyway how are you doing happening with you all like I said if you don't want the shot you don't have to have the shot but don't talk about other people that have it like you know we're sellouts or I don't know what are like my friends on Facebook that actually we lived in the neighborhood together at one time and now she lives in Arizona was saying that um, somebody was making her mad because they had made a statement about her and she's been she was an earth she was in the army or the navy I, I don't know she was in the, some military and um she got the shots and everything like that but she had been sick so you know i mean if you've already been sick one time or you've had an illness i forgot what it was but you really don't need to get anything else and i had a stroke and my doctor said to me, let's wait a while. So I did. I waited about, I want to say about a couple of months. And then I talked to him. He said, okay, go ahead and get it. And I was, I slept. Okay. For um, the first time, the first shot, I slept for the day. My husband was worried about it because that's something that I don't actually, I sleep, but not like that. You know, so he was worried, but I was fine, you know. Um, it didn't hurt my arm. It hurt that day, but I had taken a couple of Tylenols, I think, before I went. So it hurt me that, my arm a little bit that day when they first gave me this. No, about an hour later. But I was fine, but like I said, to each his own. So it's looking pretty good. These are the ones in the back that are already there. So I just want to twist them. It's like a COVID operation and I hate doing my hair. I really do. But I also hate other people with their hands in my hair now because of the stroke. My granddaughter usually does them. But they're having a vacation Bible camp. So I don't want her to be bogged down with this too. And it hurts a little bit, but I'll get over it. Promise you. And I'm doing it all willy nilly because she says, Why do you why don't you just section off your hair? I don't want to. But um, I have to make some hair over my head, so I think I'll come on and make some hair. I'll make some, some several things. Excuse me, that are easy to make and that you will love, I'm sure. So, let's um, let's do this side first. I think. See, I'm thinning in the front of my hair a little bit too, so I really don't care. I'm alive. Nothing hurts today. I'm doing good. I complain about a lot of things. Okay, but hey. No. Yeah. Anything. I can't always feel back here, but I think I got it. Yeah, I got it.
my mother saw me doing this at the kitchen table, she'd have a heart attack. But she's going to do it upstairs in the room, but my art station is still up there, so we're starting to, to work on everything this, this Saturday. So I hope that they'll be out of here by the end of the, the Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but, you know, probably by the end of the week. Putting in a new ceiling, putting in shelves for me. I'm so happy. I mean, I really am. And it's down there by the bathroom. I don't have to walk up and down the stairs anymore. And also, too, it's down there by water, so I can, um, Almost finished. At least it looks like it. Kinda. So the grandchildren are all at vacation Bible camp for the week. They, their last day is tomorrow. I gave them a bunch of um, art stuff so that they could, um, because I was going to, like, take some of it to Goodwill, sell some of it, having a yard sale this, um, this week. So I was going to take some of it to Goodwill. And um, I did actually take in the beginning before I knew that they were having it. Because um, they're outside, but, you know, we weren't really sure because of the COVID situation. But um, then they decided to have it, have it outside and make sure that everybody was masked and all that. So um, I had taken some to Goodwill, but I had have a whole bunch of stuff. And some of it I'm just never going to use, you know. I mean, seriously, I'm not going to use it. Like, I'm not making jewelry anymore, which... My granddaughter said to me the other day, my great granddaughter, she said, um, well, can I have the jewelry, the jewelry things that you're not going to make? And I was like, sure. You're going to make some jewelry? Fine. Good for me. But I'm just not making jewelry anymore. My, that, yeah, after a while, I have other things I want to do. So, in terms of art, so, so that's good. And my hands get tired, but I really I have to do my hair. You know what I mean? And I'll put clamps on it after some of my hair came out. Just a little bit though. So I've got when you can't see in the back. I have a mirror though, but I can't put it anywhere in here, so well, I guess I could, but yeah, who the heck cares? And my hair is so gray. But like I said, with with my mother my mother used to say with gray comes wisdom. I'm gonna go with that one. And the thing is, that's so funny is, I don't like doing my hair now, but I used to love to do my hair. I used to love to do hair. It's funny how when you get older, your, your, your likes change. My 
My shoulder hurts a little bit, but that's okay. This. Okay, so we've got two pieces here. So let's do this. This is rough. Just like I said, I have to, um, I'm doing exercises, which is good because um, the top of my shoulders a little bit. But At this table up really really good. I think this is the last this is the last piece. What do you know about that? So it's for the most part done. Hold them right here. They can be loose actually. So if you like working with me, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. So I'm going to relock on my hair. So take care. God bless. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Stay safe. I love you because I can't put my hands. I love you all. Thanks for rocking with me. Bye-bye.